Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rupa, Pradash, the Barnards, and my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. And Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, I'm going to go ahead and break down the recent Foot Locker commercial that's depicting the biblical end of the world. Now, a lot of people have been watching this video or commercial and don't realize that these people actually understand what the true narrative of the end of the world is or the Bible is. And they've actually made it into a commercial, but they've done so in a, a comedic way so that way people, when they see it, um, they won't consider the events happening. Now, let's go ahead and break down this video so you can see well, what the Bible has to say about these events. The commercial starts off with the world in a state of chaos, as if it just went through riots and martial law. This is depicted in the Bible under Matthews 24 and 21. For then shall be a great tribulation, such as was not seen since the beginning of the world, and this uh, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. It's also prophesied that the world is going to be in chaos upon the second coming of the Lord. This is told in Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? And there's another prophecy that says everybody will see the Lord when he comes back for the second time. And this is fulfilled in what's depicted here as the news reporter reporting the alien invasion. This is told in Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. And I just want to add this, that this is actually downtown LA, and if you look here to the left, this is actually where we preach every Saturday to tell the world of the coming of the Lord. And here we see the asteroids, which would be depicting the nuclear missiles that would be shot upon America, known as Babylon the Great in the Bible, to destroy America, and also the chariots who are going to be sent here to save the elect and the one-third of Israel, known as the Negro, Latinos, and Native Indians, before they get destroyed. This is depicted in Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. In this next scene, the brother Mahar pointed out that these two Jakes that are walking out of the store are wearing shoes known as the Jordan Bloodline. Now, I think that's pretty important here because when you see the look on these Jakes' face, it's unlike the other Jakes. They're confused. Now, that right there goes to a prophecy spoken about in Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So that would mean that these two jakes here represent the two-thirds of Israel that will be cut off, meaning two out of every three Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians will die because they haven't turned to the Lord. This is prophesied in Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh Bashim al Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. This next thing's a trip because it actually makes fun of us street preachers uh, who have been warning everybody, which is going to uh, fulfill this prophecy in Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Then notice this Jake who is walking by what appears to be a so-called Jew with confidence. Now why would that be? It tells you here in Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thine times, and strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh Shemashai, is his treasure. And if the Lord is his treasure, that means this is a Jake in the know, a one-third, an elect. And this is why he would point to himself and says, no, this is the real thing, which would be a play on saying that the Negroes are the true Jews and not these 
so-called Jews that live in Israel. And this fulfills the prophecy written in 2nd Ezra 16 and 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And this next scene, it just depicts the zombies, which represents those people who are asleep in the world, who don't know what's going on. And then you see right here where a woman has saved a man. And that fulfills the prophecy that the Lord said he would do in Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And this last scene just shows carnally minded people who are going to basically perish uh, in the way that they lived, consuming and living that materialistic lifestyle until the end. Not today. And in this scene, it shows two Jakes who have overcome these zombies who happen to just be Edomites, right? But it tells you here in 1 John 5 and 4, For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So that shows that these two Jakes are the one-thirds who have overcome and obtained victory and who will put their foots upon their enemies as this kingdom will be turned over to us. And this next scene is probably the best scene in the entire commercial. It shows a chariot of the Lord beaming up one of the elect. Now this man here, he actually is wearing those bloodline shoes we mentioned earlier. And this right here fulfills the prophecy that says Revelations 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So you see, not only do those shoes depict that this man is of the bloodline of Israel, but this isn't a black or white thing, man. It's not a skin color thing. It's a seed line thing, people. And this video just depicts a two-third who doesn't know what's good, throwing away the things that could save his life and focuses on the petty things, the materialistic things. And this is because it tells you here in 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of the Masyach, who is the image of God, should shine on them. Hey kid, where are you headed? You know it's the end of the world, right? Yeah, but it's the start of a week of greatness. Now this is a real spiritual scene because notice in here you have an elderly Edomite at the end of his life with all his possessions and his busted up car. Notice everything is falling apart here. He has scratches all over just like Esau's kingdom, right? Because his world is ending. He even tells this Jake, this young Jake, it's the end of the world. And that's because it tells you here in 2 Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that which followeth. And what is it that followeth? It's our beginning. It's the beginning of the Israelites uh, reigning the earth along with the Lord. And we're going to have the world in a heaven-like state. It's going to be greatness, right? So just like it tells you here, it's a week of greatness. Week represents the completion, right? This is the complete state of greatness that we are about to come into, people. So hopefully you brothers and sisters of Lot like my uh, spiritual breakdown of this video. But I just want to go ahead and give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, and Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.